Hi everyone, it's Pebbles and I am here today with an update on the Pan That Palette Challenge. I am panning the Naked Urban Decay. This is the original palette. The last time I did my update, I hadn't hit pan on my products. Well, lots has changed since then. Now this is technically probably my number um, fourth month. So I skipped my third month update, which should have been done at the beginning of May. So this is four months into doing this challenge. So I've actually hit pan closer to the four month than to the three month, just to clarify that. So this is my palette and what it looks like now. If you can see, there it is. And I have hit pan on Virgin, which wasn't, I hadn't hit pan on it before. So as you can see, I've hit pan on Virgin and there's quite a dent in there. I have not really done much more with Sin. Naked is all gone, completely finished that. What I had to do to get it off the sides because I had to scrape it off and then press it in the middle so I could use the product because I couldn't get it anymore because it was so jammed into the sides I couldn't get my brush into the product so I had to crush it all put it in the middle but anyways I got that done sidecar I haven't really done much with that buck I use this as my transition and I have done a good job on that look at that nice dent and I've also hit pan um, half baked really didn't use this one this month this here, uh, which is called Smog, I've used that somewhat on the outer corners. I don't have this on today, but the outer corners. This one here, Dark Horse, I've done a little bit more of a dent in it because this was flat, but I don't know if you can see, but there is a dent in there. And then I hit pan on Toasted. So I did a really good job. I've been wearing this a lot on my lid. I've, I have really, really like that. And when I wear that on my lid, I usually put um, Hustle in my crease. So I put these two together. And then when I use Half Bake, I use these together. And I always use Buck as my transition. These, I haven't even touched. And that's probably because these to me are not spring, summer colors. But anyways, I think I've done really good. So I'm really happy with my progress. Uh, as you can see, look at that dent in there. I've done really good with Toasted, and I know that I have because that's pretty much my go-to, especially in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, and I'm like, oh, I ain't got time to make myself look all, you know, just put it on, make it look decent. I don't need to, like, do a crease cut and all this and take 20 minutes on. I still take 20 minutes to do my, my makeup, though, regardless, even if I do it quick, quick. But that's my go-to look. This on the lids, this in my transition, this on the corners, this here I use under my brow bone, and voila, that's how I've hit pan, guys. So that's my update for four months into the Pan That palette. I think that um, I've said this over and over and over again. These Urban Decay palettes have a lot of product in them. So they, they're $65, I think, in the U.S., and 70 Canadian, something like that, or 75 Canadian. But you're getting a lot of product and they do last you a long, long time. So I don't know how long it'll la it'll take me to completely finish this palette. I don't know, but I think I'm doing a pretty decent job. So again, one of those things that I'm getting through my stuff, right? I'm, I'm concentrating on using what I've purchased and I'm really feeling good because I'm actually saving some money for my, for my um, wedding and I am going to be filming, filming my first wedding episode after this video. So you're going to see the same attire, same necklace, same dress, but... Today is the day that I can actually film and I'm going to do it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. And I will see you all in my next video. Ciao for now.